Anyway, I'm going to solve this all this morning, and I want you to listen. I want you to listen very carefully. In particular, I want men to listen. Okay, this is, uh, this is blokes, this is us being strong, positive men, and standing up, strangely enough, for women. And I was thinking about this over the last 12 hours. What is the problem here? What is it that's got Posey Parker upset? Um, and really, there must be a solution here rather than yelling at each other, getting physically confrontational and hating on each other. So I'm going to lay it out very, very logically and carefully. There are a group of people, primarily it would seem men, who want to be another sex. Whatever it is, I don't know, but that drives them. That's a want or a need or a desire they have. Fair enough. We all want things. And we all want to be happy and feel comfortable. The truth is they can't be. You're born one or t'other or the vast majority of people are. But I guess you can identify. You can choose to wear the clothes or adopt the mannerisms as you see them of the sex that you're not born as. And you know what? It's a free world. It's a free country. You should be allowed to do that. That is your choice. Absolutely 100%. Whether or not you have surgery that mutilates your genitalia to kind of go along with the illusion. This seems to be a growing trend. Trends come, trends go. Fact is, it's a growing trend. And that means there are a number of, in particular, biological men with all the attributes, physical attributes of men, because they are men, who now dress as and present as women or what they think women are and wish to maintain that illusion by also using women's public spaces, particularly changing rooms and toilets and prisons, which aren't quite public spaces. Here is the issue. This is where people like Posey Parker say the threat to women is and women are losing their spaces. Biological women are losing their spaces. And that is true. That is what is happening. And women, many biological women, do not feel comfortable having men who are physically men but may identify as women in spaces like toilets and changing rooms and prisons. And I think they've got a point, a legitimate point. So how do we solve that problem? Well, why do the blokes who think they're Sheilas want to use those spaces? And I'm going to presume it's because they do not feel safe as blokes who think they're Sheilas in the male public spaces, in the male toilets, in the male changing rooms, in the male prisons. So where is the solution? How do we keep biological women feeling safe and also understand the feelings and the needs for safety of blokes who think they're Sheilas, transgender people, transgender women who are blokes? Well, I think it's up to us blokes. I think it's up to us blokes to say, hey, there are toilets you can use and prisons you can go to and changing rooms you can use and you're going to be accepted and you're going to be safe. And you know what, blokes? They're our changing rooms and they're our prisons and they're our public toilets. And we've got to say, if you want to wear a dress and put your lippy on in the blokes' toilets, we're not going to give you a hard time. We're not going to treat you as anything different. We are going to accept you. So it is up to us as blokes to be kind to these other blokes and say, come on in, you're welcome. Let's leave the Sheilas with the safe Sheila space. You can be safe in our space. Whether or not you want to dress up like a woman or pretend to be a woman, that's fine. In fact, men could go further. Men could go further. We could say everyone's welcome in our spaces, women and everything else. You can come in and we're cool with that because we're men and we're strong and we know who we are. So if that happened, 
and the transgender woman, who are men, come and use the men's toilets. None of this problem. Posey Park has got nothing to complain about. The women's rights people have nothing to complain about. If we men take the lead and say, we are going to make men's toilets, men's changing rooms, men's prison a safe space for blokes who think they're sheilas. That is all it requires. It is simple, it is non-confrontational, and it is a resolution to all these issues. I am inviting all members of the transgender community, women's rights activists, to endorse my campaign. I've got to come up with a hashtag and everything for it yet. But I'm going to run this, and it's going to be, I don't know, actually, I ring in or text in, what do I call this campaign to make blokes spaces safe for transgenders? All right, that is basically it. That's how we do it. Chanel Lal, welcome.